오늘은 어, 어플라이드 머티리얼스의 케빈 모라스 어, 부사장님 모시고 반도체 장비 얘기해 보도록 하겠습니다. 안녕하십니까? 어플라이드 하면은 한국에서도 굉장히 많이 알려져 있는 어, 반도체 장비 회사인데 좀 소개를 해 주시죠. Oh, absolutely. So Applied Materials is, as you said, well known in Korea, but it's the largest manufacturer of uh, semiconductor manufacturing or semiconductor equipment. Um, we sell a very large portfolio of products. We have equipment for PVD, CVD, ALD, um, uh, epitaxy. Uh, we also have uh, products that we sell for removal of materials like chemical and mechanical painterization, CMP, uh, and etch. Uh, we do. We have uh, products for uh, to change materials like annealing uh, and implant, uh, and we also do uh, inspection and metrology. So, very large portfolio. Uh, in many of these areas, we are the leader in the technology, and uh, in many segments, we are the leader. So, for example, in logic and and uh, foundry, applied materials is the leading provider of equipment. DRAM, we're the number one uh, provider of equipment as well. Mm -hmm. And also the packaging, uh, advanced packaging, we're the leader for advanced packaging equipment as well. So, you know, we have a very large breadth, and this breadth allows us to see the technology, where it's going, and also where the industry is going, so we can start to become better partners to help our customers. So, uh, yeah, we have several leadership areas. So let's take them a few. So in PVD, we are the leaders in PVD uh, technology uh, by far. Uh, CMP as well, we're number one. Uh, in, in dielectric CVD as well, we are the number one provider. Epitaxy, we're the number one provider. Implant, we're the number one provider. So, and, and also in uh, treatments, anneals, we are the number one provider of equipment. And uh, these leadership areas, are extremely important because our customers count on us on developing new technologies that they need for their advanced production. And Applied uh, takes us very seriously. We spend, uh, in the last year, for example, Applied Materials spent about $2.8 billion in R&D uh, in developing new technologies for our customers. In Korea, we a lot of work in So let me tell you, so there, there are two big areas Applied is investing in Korea. So the first one is uh, we are we are building a new R&D lab facility mm. in Korea. Actually, our CEO was here a few months back and met with uh, President Yoon to announce our uh, first uh, R&D facility uh, in Korea. So this is going to be coming up soon. Uh, we also Applied is also engaged with many local suppliers and partners um, where we are, we source material from Korea for our equipment, and uh, we are also working with uh, new companies. In uh, the uh, in, from a venture new venture standpoint, because we see some interesting technologies being developed by Korean um, uh, startup companies, mm. and uh, we want to be part of uh, this uh, th these companies as well. 그 지금 최근에 그 반도체 시황이 너무 안 좋아지고 있고 뭐 엊그저께 뭐 삼성도 실적을 발표하고 마이 뭐 SK 하이닉스도 발표를 했고 마이크론도 뭐 얼마 전에 이제 실적 발표한 거 보면 굉장히 지금 시장이 안 좋은 상황인데. 투자도 많이 줄이겠다라고 얘기를 했고요. 물론 뭐 파운더리 이런 쪽도 마찬가지지만 어, 장비 쪽 되게 안 좋을 것 같은데 어, 어떻게 좀 보고 계십니까? Yeah, so uh, we do expect um, that the way we have equipment for 2023 is going to be lower year over year compared to the prior year. Um, we've we kind of we've signaled this uh, already, but um, and and it's too early for us to say what's going to happen in 24, but in general, Applied has a very strong growth outlook for the semiconductor space. Mm. Uh, we're really excited to be in the space, both for semiconductor um, uh, products as well as equipment. So on the product sides, uh, we see you know a huge growth coming from a, a next big wave uh, dr driven by AI, uh, IoT devices, mm. and a big growth in data. So this is a huge wave that's driving the consumption, the production consumption of new semiconductor chips. And this has the possibility of getting the business to about $1 trillion by 2030. Mm. So this big growth is going to also fuel growth in semi-equipment. Uh, the second thing, even though this is a down year, I want to mention the reason why we're so excited about uh, uh, semi-equipment as well is because uh, as production has been moving to advanced nodes, 
uh, the difficulty in in making chips has been growing. And so uh, the number of steps required to make the advanced chip has been going up. Uh, the difficulty to make the chip has been go, uh, the make that step has been going up. So the amount of time spent in the equipment is going up, and so the wafer uh, wafer fab uh, wafer equipment intensity, which is the ratio of the equipment revenue towards the semiconductor chip revenue, has been increasing. In 2013, this used to be about 13 percent, and then now it's closer to about 15 percent, and we expect it to be about there uh, for the next several years. So. Big growth in, in, in the end market, uh, going to a trillion dollars by 2030, and, and the wave fab equipment intensity increasing uh, to about 15% uh, and staying constant for that, for that time. 최근에 어, 인공지능을 어, 활용해서 칩 제조에 관련된 내용들 뭐좀 개선을 하겠다 뭐 이런 식의 발표를 하셨어요. 그 어떻게 그 장비 쪽에 어떤 인공지능 기술이 들어가는 겁니까? So, um, to, to explain how we use it, first I should explain why we even need AI in chip manufacturing. So if you think about how chips are made today, the whole challenge is to make chips smaller, more, higher, more density, and faster. Uh, so today's uh, chips need extreme precision manufacturing uh, process steps. Um, uh, you know, the, uh, for example, the, the advanced uh, logic chips have uh, over uh, 60 billion transistors on them. Uh, over 80 kilometers of very fine metal pitch wiring uh, mm. in them. And uh, to try to make this all work uh, precisely and, and everywhere is to, with high yield is very difficult. This requires a, a, a process window that is acceptable for the manufacturing environment, uh, high yield, uh, and uh, for this to be able to done quickly uh, to ramp in manufacturing. Mm. Now, these things are really, really hard. It's typical uh, semiconductor chip manufacturing uh, has... Uh, you know, close to a thousand steps, including process and metrology. The equipment that is used to manufacture them are extremely complex. Some of our advanced tools have over a thousand equipment parameters uh, and can produce a petabyte of data in, in a year, year's time. So this extreme complexity, uh, an enormous amount of data coming out of these tools, uh, makes it very challenging when we are trying to find the exact right spot to get a precision uh, uh, a performance, manufacturing performance, uh, a robust uh, manufacturing window and yield becomes very, very difficult. This is where uh, artificial, artificial intelligence comes in. 뭐좀 그렇게 되면 실제 적용된 사례라든지 이런 것도 좀 소개를 해 주실 수 있을까요? So let me give you an example of how this works in reality. So uh, as you know, uh, DRAM manufacturing, one of the big challenges for DRAM manufacturing is fabrication of the capacitor. Uh, capacitors need to be taller and taller every, every generation. Uh, this is extremely hard, and this requires uh, sometimes the production of new materials uh, to work as a hard mask. The hard mask is the stencil layer to, to, that, that we use for the pattern, the, the hole. Mm -hmm. So we need a new material. Uh, we also need uh, sometimes new etching uh, process solution to make the hole on the top, and then the hole needs to have the same dimension uh, throughout the, the, the depth of the feature. Again, this is very hard. Uh, so Applied has developed, for example, a new material. Uh, we call this film Draco. We did this a couple of years back. Uh, uh, along with, a, with a, um, a matching etch solution to create the holes in the hard mask, so we have a very hard stencil mm. that can then be used to etch the hole uh, for the uh, capacitor and the DRAM. We combine this with sensors on the tool that are collecting data from the machines that we are making. Uh, along with, in some cases in our R&D tools, we have onboard metrology that will measure, that will uh, look at the film uh, in, the, in the vacuum system itself, as well as a separate uh, uh, e-beam metrology that we're using to study the, the shape of the holes and the, and the size of the holes at different uh, locations in the, in the feature. All of this data can be combined into an AI, with the, using an AI uh, and machine learning uh, model and allows us to get insights. And through this uh, AI model, we can then now predict uh, conditions that provide the best, uh, uh, the best uh, 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 window to get the right dimensions as well as the widest uh, process window. 그러면은 그 AI의 데이터들은 고객사 안에서만 도는 걸로 돼 있는 거예요? Uh, yes, we have, so uh, yes, and uh, we have very tight data controls. 
so many of many of the data that we collect is specific to the tool uh, and also is related to a particular recipe. Some data we collect is generic. Uh, we can use it to build uh, general models. We call them digital twins. So these are sort of virtual, mm. uh, like an avatar, a virtual representation of the tool. That is common. And then there are some data that is unique based on uh, maybe a customer's recipe that they're trying to run. So those data we, we, we partition and we protect data is very valuable, mm. as you know. And um, uh, we want to make sure we, we protect our customers' data wherever uh, necessary and use the data only to help them uh, reach their, their goals faster. 지금 다른 장비군으로도 그런 것들 이 기술을 계속 확장해서 적용을 하실 계획이십니까? Yeah, that's a great question. We are applied as is fully embracing the benefits and the value we believe we can get from this acceleration of data, the greater data, and the ability to take this data and create models with AI ML. Uh, we are applying these on multiple tool sets of ours. Uh, we, we're, we're building additional sensors in our tools. In the past, sometimes the tool did not need a sensor because you don't use anything with it. You don't do anything with that data. But now we're finding that we have, we, some data is very useful. We are building custom sensors uh, to get better signals that we can understand and correlate with our, with our, with our, with our processes. Uh, we're building special custom metrology that's built into the tools in some cases. Uh, and we are also uh, modifying or creating proprietary standalone metrology, especially with eBeam. Uh, and we're taking all these data signals and we are building these AML models across multiple tool sets. Mm. Today, the greatest value for the customer, our customers, is when they can go to the next node faster. If you can go from a DRAM one generation to the next generation faster, you get immediate cost savings coming from the higher density. Uh, customers want to go there. We want to help them be able to make that transition faster. 말하자면은 우리가 공정을 하다가 그 말, 말씀하신 대로 뭔가 장비 안에 그런 센, 센서라든지 이런 것들이 많이 들어 있고 하면 문제가 생길 때 즉각적으로 또알수 있고 또 어떤 문제가 추후에 발견되었을 때는 그런 데이터를 좀 활용해서 어디서 문제가 어떻게 생겼는지를 우리가 어, 조금 더 쉽게 알아낼 수 있다 뭐 이렇게 이해하면 되는 겁니까? Uh, absolutely, that's, that's accurate. So the sensors allow us to collect more data. Um... And uh, that data is important, but not all data is important. So as I mentioned, we have had, you know, sometimes a thousand sensors on a tool where we can collect tool signals, but only some signals are important. Uh, and then we find in some areas where there is something we want to understand, but there is no signal coming. So we develop a new sensor uh, to, to collect this data. So some sensors and some data are very, very important. And the rest of the data has, a, has not a strong correlation with the result. Mm. So one of the things Applied is doing, for example, is really trying to understand which data has the strongest correlations. Uh, where necessary, creating new sensors, new metrology to collect more data in this area. And once we have this data that has the strongest correlations, we work quickly to amplify the data. How can we get a stronger signal so we can, get a, we can understand quicker uh, when something is changing? Uh, and all of this comes together, we call this our, uh, with, with the sensors, Along taking this and this data, along with the AI ML, uh, bring it all together, we call it our Actionable Insights Accelerator, mm -hmm. uh, AIX uh, platform. And we're using this platform to, to basically, as I mentioned in the Draco case, uh, get like a 2x improvement in R&D speed by collecting the sensor data, collecting the metrology data, combining it with their AI ML uh, algorithms, we can accelerate the R&D speed by, by, by a factor of two. 개발하실 때 굉장히 어려움이 많았을 것 같아요. 왜냐하면 지금 어 반도체 만드는 회사들이 회사 안에 데이터를 밖으로 잘안 꺼내주기 때문에 우리가 이걸 어떻게 알고리즘을 만들어야 어 실제로 뭐 제품을 만드는 회사한테 도움이 될 건지에 대해서 뭔가 뭐랄까요 그실 데이터를 우리가 받아볼 수가 없기 때문에 어려움이 좀 있었을 거라고 생각되는데. Uh, that's, a, that's a great point. So this requires a lot of partnership with our customers mm. as well. So to some degree, we can, we can advance the development ourselves with, uh, with uh, our own tools. So because Applied has a breadth, Applied has the deposition tool, Applied has our own edge tool, Applied has our, our own metrology tool, we have our own sensors. A lot of the development we can do quickly ourselves. The second thing is we have very strong relationships and very trusting relationships with our, with our mm -hmm. device uh, customer partners. 
uh, our device customer partners understand we protect their data. And uh, uh, very often, uh, our device customer partners want to partner with us and provide us their latest structures so we can evaluate the performance of our new machines on their structures and we can do some co-optimization and some accelerated development uh, before it goes to them. So uh, yes, it definitely needs partnerships with the device manufacturers. And I think our, our customers uh, see this as a valuable partnership and uh, the, our customers see applied as protecting their data. So this combination of, of respecting the data as well as providing valuable results, which are much faster, uh, this is, creates a positive cycle to engage our customers. Mm. Yeah, uh, maybe let me also add, um, so applied, as I mentioned, because we have the, the various equipments and the sensors, we also have our own uh, big lab, uh, like a, like a uh, where we can create our own structures. Uh, and uh, we develop a lot of these uh, recipes, uh, process validation on our internal structures uh, before we, we kind of engage on, the, on our, for example, our device uh, manufacturer structures. Mm -hmm. So this is something that not every company has. We've spent a lot of money because we believe this helps accelerate the development. Uh, and we're using this to accelerate our development both with, uh, with this AX framework, our internal uh, test structures, and then after that with our customer structures. Ah, <laughs> well, device makers always will use the best combination of tools that work for them. A device maker, at the end of the day, wants to make a working device. Mm. Uh, so if we are able to provide a solution that works better for them with a combination of equipment, certainly they want to take our equipment. But we understand that we also need to be have the best equipment in each case, and we need to give them the results faster than 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 other piece of equipment can. So I think device makers at the end of the day choose us because we have the best solution uh, for them. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I've already made plans for my second trip coming down here. Mm -hmm. I think I should be down in a couple of months. So I intend to be visiting Korea regularly, uh, meeting with continue meeting with customers, uh, suppliers. And uh, also, um, we're, we're setting up uh, university partnerships, and it's always very good to meet uh, some of the the uh, Korean uh, technology uh, journalists as well, uh, like you, Mr. Han, to to discuss these topics. 그럼 다음번에도 한번 또 정기적으로 좀 나와주시면 좋겠는데 혹시 가능하실지 모르겠네요. Ah, uh, absolutely. I look forward to talking. This has been a great discussion. 오늘 나와주셔서 고맙습니다. Thank you so much for your interest. Thank you.